I'm out of my head, out of my mind. Why? If you let me, I'll be on my own. Plantation culture. Plantation and culture may be two different words that we use to separate. Normally, we use one of these words to show something at a different part of life. Plantation and culture of course has very different meanings. We use it as a single word. The first one is culture. Culture has a lot of meanings. Uh, it could be way of thinking, beliefs, behaving, or anything like that from a group of people, place, or even an organization. But the definition of culture is a term which encompasses uh, the social behavior and norms found in human societies, as well as the knowledge, belief, arts, laws, customs, capabilities, and habits of the individuals in this group. In our country, culture usually calls as budaya or budayaan, which means talks, customs, something that develops or something that becomes a habit which is difficult to change. Uh, it's from KBBI or Indonesian uh, Kamus Besar Bahasa Indonesia. In other side, uh, plantation means a big or large farm which has particular type of crop is grown. And in KBBI, plantation means gardening or companies that cultivate gardens. Only from the definitions, we could see that this word is two different things that affect two different part of life. But if we combine these words, make it as a compound word, we will have two combination of meanings, a new meanings that encompass one and another and become something that so very specifically. Uh, let's move to the plantation culture. Then, what is exactly uh, plantation culture means? Plantation culture is a term for the culture that exists in the plantation environment. The culture refers to hills, a habit or activity that is carried out routinely before, after, or even during the plantation activities. Plantation culture is usually not too diverse and more binding. Plantation culture is usually scheduled and has both written and unwritten rules that we must obey if we are the part of the plantation itself. Example of plantation culture are modern circle, job simulations, employee randomizations, quality check, and afternoon cycle. All of these examples are carried out every Monday to Friday regularly. Uh, in plantation culture, there is uh, something that called organizational culture. Organizational culture is a more specific development of uh, plantation culture. Understanding of organizational culture is a system of values, beliefs, and habits in an organization that interact with the structure of the formal system to produce norms of organizational behavior. Organizational culture theory is a communication theory that includes all communication symbols namely routine actions and conversations and eating that people attach to this symbol. In the company, organizational culture is considered as one of the company's strategy to achieve its goal and power. Organizational culture of a group will be different from other groups or companies, so they are very different from uh, one organization to another. There are two types of organizational culture that mix uh, different values and policies. The first one is strong organizational culture. A strong organizational culture is a type of organizational culture that refers to conditions in which employees can adapt, respect organizational policies, and comply with all organizational guidelines. Each member will really enjoy his work consider its job as a new experience in a strong organizational culture. That is, uh, they will accept 
the roles and responsibilities in an organization or company were heavily or voluntarily. The second one is weak organizational culture. Weak organizational culture is a type of organizational culture in which each member accepts the roles and responsibilities only because of fear of the leader. They are afraid of all kinds of organizational policies, so they think of the organizations as a platform to steal income. However, they also do not feel attached to the organization or company. Organizational culture can indeed come from experience, but it does not just from but it does not just form. There are several characteristics of organizational culture that need to be considered, including innovation and the courage to take risks, attention to detail, result orientation, people orientation, team orientation, aggressiveness, stability. And then there are several examples of organizational culture that can be embraced and owned by a company or organization. This may also be what distinguishes one organization from another. The following examples of organizational, organizational culture including administration, neatness, discipline, innovation, and the last one is the division of authority. And that's uh, my explanation of uh, plantation culture. Thank you for the attention. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me in the Instagram, Oriza underscore Vargas. Thank you. See you later. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera bagi kita semua.